that I like consensual gay sex. Now, I was making myself a Caesar salad and you know, I didn't even know Gamescom was going on. And then I been streaming and playing Borderlands 3. So immediately on my feed just popped up Borderlands 4 trailer. I'm like, hey, yo, wait a minute. I heard a little something. I heard a little song about that and about Dying Light. We'll go a little digging further. What do I find? Dying Light the Beast trailer. Mmm. And we're going to dig right into it and we can see what we can find there. Boy, this is wild. I love this. Mmm. This is beautiful. The tracks lead this way. Stay here. Stand guard. Yeah, I can already tell. I can already tell that with the guns, I don't know if it's a standalone or if it's like, you know, I, it might be a DLC for Dying Light 2. I don't know if they're going to go in a whole new direction and just come out with a brand spanking new one. But with them guns there. It's definitely not set and dying like two time. That's for sure. That's for sure. On me. There he is, Kyle Crane, baby. Now. That's literally exactly what the Night Hunter sounded like. Every man has an animal within. If you push too much, you might unleash the beast. And it's the same voice actor too. Oh Lord have mercy. It does look like it's set in Europe, though, for sure. Zombies look better, though. Don't look like Telltale zombies. Can we talk about that truck? Do you see that? That looks... That looks kind of new. But everything else is so decrypt, huh? That's kind of weird. Yeah, everything looks like super old, like the virus has been going on like 10 years almost, but the truck looks new. So I don't know when this motherfucker said. Oh boy, is it beautiful. But I want to look at Crane. How much has he aged? He hasn't really grayed. No, he hasn't. But you can look in the eye. Oh yeah, no, he he kind of he kind of got some going on him. He got pink eye. <laughs> he got pink eye on him. Oh, he's got a cauliflower ear now. Look at that. So even roughed up. But let's look here. Old clock towers. No, nah, that's not really an American thing. That's not at all. No, so this definitely might be said in Europe, as a lot of people do kind of already suspect. Because, I mean, they have Dying Light 2 out. They're going to use the same assets. Be weird if they didn't. Then, but no. If you push. That looked good. No, that's so beautiful. We could be Kyle Crane again. Uh, I don't know. I don't know really what else they're going to do. But no, she looked good. Ah, beautiful. All right, that trailer is beautiful. I don't really know what to what to expect from it. It's probably gonna be like the following, like with the first Dying Light, where you know, standalone, and you have the cars. I mean, look, they added a car, so it's it's pretty much being like, yeah, it's like the following. The following was beautiful, and I don't think they're just gonna abandon Dying Light too. So I think this is definitely a standalone. It's probably because they wanted to keep uh, supporting it to like 2027, something like that. 
and Dying Light 2 is kind of eh, kind of eh. So how do you bring everyone back? You bring back Kyle Crane. You bring back the man, the myth, the legend himself. But no, it looks good. There's really not much else I can say. It does, they do say it's coming out 2025. I don't think they've released what quarter it's coming in. But this is definitely something to look out for because boy, Dying Light 1 is probably my favorite game. Definitely top two, more than likely. So just seeing this is beautiful. Just because Dying Light 2 had a real rocky start. It really did. I mean, you couldn't skip cutscenes, and the story's just kind of ass. Like, I don't want to hear the French guy always talking about it dawn, <laughs> my wife, and all that dumb shit. But they don't even care about Aiden anymore. They just threw him. <laughs> they just Larry Bird him, just fucking. And now they just added Kyle Crane. I mean, they glazed him hard in the game. They were always talking about how he's a legend. They have graves and markings about him. So we figured he'd come back, and they never added the Night Hunter. So this could be, with the Beast DLC, they could add the Night Hunter again, which was beautiful in the first game. It was cool, you know, a little PvP action right there. But yeah, no, she looking good, and you know, we'll, we'll see what else is coming out. But yeah, hey, thanks for watching. Get out of here, huh? What are you doing? Get out of here. Oh my god.